In this video, we are going to learn how to solve this YC or chemistry problems under electrolysis. So guys, we have about 8 to 10 repeated questions to participate in this video. Let's get started. The first question I have here says, which of the following will produce oxygen and hydrogen doing its electrolysis using platinum electrode? We have concentrated hydrochloric acid, dilute sodium chloride solution, glucose solution, aqueous copper 2 tetra auto sulfate 4. So the right option is option B which is dilute sodium chloride solution very, very important guys the next repeat question will be this one it says if two metallic ions of the same concentration migrate to a graphite cathode the the one that would be preferentially discharged is the one that has the real option a greater stability in solution stronger tendency to accept electrons lower electrical the center is not complete a smaller mass the right option is option b the one that has stronger tendency to accept electrons. Okay, so that's for this question. The next of the question will be this one. It says the quantity of electricity required to discharge one mole of univalent ion is so the right options of okay. So the next of the question will be this one. It says which of the following occurs when a solution of copper two tetrahydrides of surface six is electro is electrolyzed using copper electrodes so we have the anode increases in mass the blue color of the solution fades gradually the cathode becomes coated with copper yes that's the right answer okay next subject question will be this one it says oxidation takes place at the anode during electrolysis because the anode is deficient in protons is deficient in electrons has attraction for positive ions has excess electrons so the right option is option d because it has excess electrons next question will be this one it says the reaction that occurs at the anode when copper 2 to try also surface 6 is electrolyzed using carbon electrode is okay so Looking at the reaction we occur at the anode, remember oxidation takes place at the anode and anions migrate to the anode, whereas cations migrate to the, to the cathode. Okay, so the reaction that will basically occur at the anode will be so, and, and when it is actually using carbon electrodes, so the reaction that will occur will be this option we have here option c hydrogel atom we lose four electrons to form water and oxygen gas okay so that's the reaction that we are called the right option is option c all right so remember this copper two structures of sulfate six is in aqueous solution if you check we have in aqueous solution so because of the presence of water the hydrogen ions will migrate to the anode so when it gets the anode the reaction that will be this hydrogen ion we lose four electrons to form water and oxygen gas so that's it for this question option c next repeated question will be this one this is what is the product and uh, the positive electrodes? So we have this is lead bromine. Okay, so it will be remember anions migrate to the anode, whereas cations migrate to the cathode. So what product? What is the product? The positive electrode. The positive electrode is the anode, right? In electrolytic cell. That means the anion migrate to the anode. The anion here is bromine. Alright, so the right option is option A. So the next of the question of this one. It says what amount of electricity is required to deposit one more of aluminium from a solution of aluminium chloride say to be three for at three for at days. Okay, option C. Last question for end this video with this one. You see what happens and they are not doing electrolysis the cation is oxidized no reduction is what occurs at the cathode anion loses electrons cation is discharged 
Cantillon is oxidized. So the right option is option C. Cantillon is discharged because cations migrate to the cathode to get discharged, whereas anions migrate to the anode to get discharged. So the right option is option C. Guys, this basically can do problems involving electrolysis for your C or a chemistry parties with about 8 to 10 repeated questions for this topic. Hope you learned something interesting from the video. Let's go the video, guys. If you are new to this channel, ensure that you are subscribed to this channel by hitting the subscribe button for more of this video. So, like, share, and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel for what you learned from this video. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask regarding what I have talked about in this video, feel free to leave a question in the comment section below and I'm sure to give you a response. So, ensure that you are part of the channel membership by clicking on the join button where you get a premium information will help you to say it's not exactly like a and others next time you'll be writing okay so having known this click on the next example and i see you 